Hello, one and all. My name is Ryan Bruce. My friends call me Fluff. And today we're going to talk about criticism. Having recently switched over to using a Fractal Axe FX Live, the nice folks at Fractal Audio uh, posted uh, on all of their social media a photo of my rig and a very nice, warm, welcoming message to me, welcoming me to the Fractal family. And the comments on most of the social media platforms were very negative and they were very toxic and very gatekeeping. And I thought this was, uh, well, not surprising, but fairly interesting because I was reminded of a saying that goes, you will never be criticized by someone who is doing more than you. You will only be criticized by people doing less than you. What does that even mean? Now, before we go any further, this is not me whining about people criticizing me or saying negative things about me. I could care less about any of that stuff, but what I do care about is how some of you may handle criticism yourselves. I am very secure in what I have done with my musical career and my life, and criticism is just part of everyday life for me, and bring on the criticism. I welcome it. It's all good. It does not affect me anymore. It used to once upon a time. However, this is for those of you who may be feeling self-conscious about anything in your musical life, your guitar playing, your singing, uh, your own content, your videos, anything to do with that. If you're receiving criticism, this video is for you. So allow me, if I may, to use uh, a couple of analogies to, in order to best explain this saying that you will never be criticized by someone who is doing more than you, only less than you. Um, if I was working at a job and I was feeling insecure about my own performance, something that I could do is I could go to my boss and I could point out someone else to take maybe any perceived attention off of me and onto somebody else. I could project my own inadequacies in my job, for example, onto somebody else. And, and that's a way of me going, ha ha, I'm pointing out someone else's faults while not looking in the mirror and evaluating my own. This is much the same as when maybe there's infidelity in a marriage or something like that. And the person that's actually cheating is the one that becomes super hypersensitive about what the other is doing and starts suspecting the other spouse as an example. This is all the very same thing as someone that's doing less than you that is criticizing you. They haven't done what you have and seeing someone that is perceivably done less be more successful only points out their inadequacies and flaws, in this case, as a guitar player and a musician. So in my mind, there are two types of criticisms. There's constructive criticism. This is gonna be someone that wants, wants better for you. Yes, those people do exist. Genuine fans that want to see better for you or trying to point something out that they see as something that could improve you. This is much like someone on your football team telling you how to better catch the football. It's not a negative inherently. This is not, uh, this is not coming from a malicious intent. This is simply trying to help out and it's legitimately trying to help out. The other kind of criticism is the one that we have been talking about for most of this video, the negative tearing down projection of, of someone else's own inadequacies and insecurities as, in this case, a guitar player or musician. These kinds of criticisms, I could care less about, and really, I don't ever really pay attention to them, and also the gatekeeping factor as a whole in comments like the ones that I saw in the, the Fractal posts welcoming me to the Fractal family of, oh, I'm not good enough to play a Fractal Axe effects are frankly hilarious, and I find them quite entertaining, but thinking about someone sitting at a keyboard going, you are, you are not that good and I'm gonna comment, I'm so mad about it, I'm gonna comment on how Ben Eller smokes you as a guitar player and you don't deserve to play Fractal. That's pretty funny, honestly. Also, I'm not arguing with that point at all. Ben is one of my favorite guitar players of all time. However, if you are dealing with any of these criticisms, just remember, typically it's someone seeing your own work 
and then feeling insecure about themselves. And we should feel sorry for these people, not get angry or or self-critical in our own skills as a guitar player and a musician. All the pickable links down below in the description. My name has been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.